Kuma slums dweller turned millionaire Bahati says if you want to join his wealthy camp then you must best believe that all these materials he is displaying are true. Eric Omondi ex-lover Miss Shanti deactivates her social media accounts following claims made by Eric Omondi in Tanzania with all the details on what is delaying Kerji the Don's divorce with ex-lover as he now says he wishes his divorce process will be quick like Mombasa's governor Ali Hassan Johos and finally across the border Zari Hassan publicizes his son's relationship after he was accused of being gay. To access these and more updates, make sure you log on to www.evemungai.com for the latest. I'm Kingsley Oluoko for Mungai Eve Entertainment News Roundup. In her part 2 series of the Bahati's revealing inside of the new 27.5 million Kenyan shillings house, Bahati has blasted out comments on social media. Through Diana Mara's YouTube channel, the couple got into the house and really, Diana B was amazed by the intense high level of interiors the house had. Bahati now comes to its fans and haters on social media who says that he is clout chasing. He texted a post on his social media that read, He is a poor boy from Mathari slums. He can't afford that expensive mansion and cars. And I quote Bahati Anachis Clout. He followed it with a caption that read, To those who are doubting that God can bless a poor boy from the slums, let me confirm this. Yes, I am a boy from Mathari slums. And to those that believe that God can raise a man from poverty to glory, may God do it for you too, in Jesus' name. The God I who raised me is faithful to bless anyone. Fans and celebrities have come to his support and commented with Mili Chebi saying, Preach preacher, we are clapping for you. DK Kwenye Beat says he is faithful and his lover Dana Mauro commenting, Amen my baby, prove them wrong. From grace you are highly favored. The Bahatis have led tabloids this past week. With the enemy's amount of money Kelvin Bahati is ditching on his wife Diana Maru, they have however maintained that they are not chasing clout and that all this documentation is true. The latest that has shocked many was this machinate, 27.5 million Kenyan shillings located at Kamaki's off Riru Bipers. Eric Komondi's ex-lover has now deactivated his account after the recent claims made by Eric Komondi through a staffy media in his comedy tours in Tanzania. However, her TikTok account is still active. Miss Shanti is reportedly to be dating. Her dating rumors are confirmed after wishing her lover a happy birthday through the platform. Miss Shanti has been on the spotlight for the past couple days after Eric Komondi claimed she dumped him. The self-proclaimed Entertainment President Fathers to say he even erected billboards in the airport for her due to his amount of love he had for Shanti. Advancing to the regrets, Eric says he even bought a car for her. However, this has not killed his dreams for finding a new lover. Eric Omondi, who turns 40 years, says among the many reasons he has visited Tanzania is to find a new wife. Noting that through his hit show, Wife Material, he has not been able to find the apple of his eyes. We will keep you updated with Miss Shanti even as we wait for her response on Eric Omondi's claims. And now moving on swiftly, Kerji the Dawn admires the speed that the process of Joel's divorce has taken. He has taken this comment on his social media of a post posted by Citizen TV, reposting it and commenting that I wish mine could be this fast too. Mombasa Governor Hassan Joho, who recently parted ways with his former wife, has said he will continue supporting his children but will not buy her a house. Joho's Italian ex-wife, Madina Giovanni Fazzini, had issued some demands before the two dissolved their marriage. On his part, popular musician Kerji the Don claims that he chose to divorce his ex-wife, Lina Wanjiru, because she grew idol and started rolling with Chokoraz. 
Kerji claims that his ex-wife reasoning took a downward spiral to the point he could not condone her anymore. We hope that Kerji, the Don and his ex-lover will find amicable means to solve their differences even as they go towards divorce. And finally, across the borders, South African businesswoman Zari Hassan is a proud mother to his son Raphael. Zari Hassan took to her Instagram stories blessing a son and his new girlfriend Leila Sonom. She wrote this and I quote, God bless you guys, end of quote. Zari Hassan and the late Ivan son shows off his girlfriend for the first time following gay accusations. It should be recalled that Raphael in 2021 went public about finding fellow men appealing than women. However, Zari came to Hassan's defense, saying Raphael only said whatever he said to keep all the women away who always filled his DM with photos of their intimate parts. She fathered to say when the time will be right, she will make it known whom her son's girlfriend is. The girlfriend has also confirmed dating Raphael in an Instagram Q&A. The girlfriend is a South African and identifies as Leila Sono. Thank you for standing by. To access these and more updates, make sure you log on to www.evemungai.com for the latest. Give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and click on the notification bell. My name is Kingsley Unwoko for Mungai Eve Entertainment News Roundup.